Hello and welcome to the Hellraiser blog. Uh, please guys, if you enjoyed today's Hellraiser blog, give us a, a subscribe. We love subscribes um, and join the Hellraiser family. Um, okay, so today's fight, we're going to look at the June the 9th uh, return bout uh, between Leo Santa Cruz and Abner Mares, which takes place at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Um, always likely to happen in Los Angeles because of where the fighters come from, obviously where their, where their supporters are, hence why it hasn't ended up in Las Vegas. Um, Leo Santa Cruz, known as El Terremoto, which um, translates as the earthquake, um, fight I know quite well from his rivalry with Carl Frampton. I worked with uh, the McGuigans and with Carl Frampton for a while, and uh, we always had our eyes on Leo Santa Cruz and what good fights they were with Frampton and Santa Cruz, um, winning one each, I think that was probably fair, and um, please God let them have a, a rubber match. Um, okay, so this is a rematch with Abner Mahrez. Abner Mahrez is a very tough guy. Um, let me give you the stats on the fighters first, and then we can work out what we think is going to happen. Uh, so, Leo Santa Cruz, he's 34 wins, one draw and one loss. Obviously the loss coming against Frapton and the draw coming early in his career. Uh, he is the WBA Super World Featherweight Champion. So he's not Super Featherweight, he's a Featherweight, but he's their Super Champion. Uh, his loss obviously coming against Carl Frampton. Uh, right, so Santa Cruz is five foot seven, quite tall for a, a Featherweight, and before that he was a Super Bantam. 27 years old. Uh, and he's boxing Abner Mahrez in a rematch. The first fight, if you haven't seen the first fight, go to YouTube. It's a brilliant fight. Uh, sort of fights that seem to happen when two Mexicans uh, box each other. So Abner Mahrez uh, is five foot four. He's 32 years old. Um, the, the, their first fight, like I say, is, is a it's a classic. It's it's a brilliant fight. Uh, Abner Mahrez obviously shorter. So he's trying to walk down uh, Santa Cruz in the first fight, and I think that the, the only tactic he can have uh, to have a realistic chance of winning is to do exactly that, to come inside, to, to try and walk Santa Cruz down, to, to, to take him inside and take him on the ropes. The problem that he has a little bit is that in the first fight, Santa Cruz actually walked Mares down. Um, as I say, I mean, if, if it was a British guy, and, you, and you're tall, and you're boxing a, a short guy who moves, the coach is going to tell you every time that the only tactic is, right, you're going to keep him on the end of your jab, keep it long. Um, Santa Cruz, that was not his tactic. He, he actually voluntarily takes the fight into close quarters a lot of the time, uh, certainly uh, in, in the first half of the fight, um, which... I know most British coaches, they would say that is suicidal, that, that is not uh, proper boxing, that, that's not the way that um, this should be done, but he does it and he actually does it successfully. Um, now, I, I actually have him right for having those tactics, because when he pushes Ab Abner Marais is a phenomenal come forward fighter, a lot of head movement, he rolls, he gets inside and he throws these big body punches and comes up through the middle and throws flurries and he's very good coming forwards. As as we found when uh, we, we saw the first fight with Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz seemed to work out. This guy coming forwards is a 9 out of 10, going backwards is probably like a, a 4 or a 5 out of 10. Abner Morris is not a great fighter moving backwards, boxing off the back foot. Uh, even uh, I would say he he came to pieces at times uh, when he was pushed back, and Santa Cruz pushed him back a lot, pushing him right to the ropes. And if if you watch, it's not just Santa Cruz coming forwards. He initially comes forwards once he's got Abnamara's where he he wants him in close. Uh, look at his feet. His footwork is absolutely spectacular. His his intricate footwork is a uh, phenomenal Santa Cruz and that's what won him the fight he doesn't just come in tearing up it looks like it's just a tear up uh, when you look at it from from a long way back but if you focus on the actual movement and the uh, the foot movement in particular 
Santa Cruz, he, he, he sort of walks into the ropes, comes in close, and then he uses his feet to, to continuously open up angles and, and open these shots that, that come uh, and are very effective. And um, in fact, probably won, won him the fight, considering that he's a taller fighter. When I saw him coming and having a tear, because you can think that they're in this uh, arena, it's absolutely packed, and you can see that the, the atmosphere in there, it's a real party atmosphere, all the Mexicans are really getting into it, obviously two Mexican guys fighting each other, and they're drinking, and it's just like a chaotic atmosphere, and when I first saw him tearing into Mares, I thought, that, that's not the right tactic, <laughs> that, you know, that, that's asking for trouble, but what he actually does is he stops short of just walking into him, and once he's got Mares trying to work inside with him, he starts like half a step outside, and moves to, to to both sides, and then works the body and picks these 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 angles, and uh, Mares continues to try and work inside. But because Santa Cruz is actually stepping outside of him all the time and hitting him from 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 outside and from from, from angles, without going outside, in fact, just uh, at longer range, but still what I would call inside fighting, um, like short, very close range fighting, which Mexicans excel at. It's in their DNA. For, for, for generations, we've had Mexicans that excel at fighting up close. And they have like a style all to themselves. And that's why I think uh, they had this, uh, th this idea. It was clearly preconceived. It was a tactic that they, improved, that they em employed f out of choice. They, they wanted that to happen in the fight, uh, Santa Cruz, and it worked for them. Uh, probably because he's had years of fighting guys who have that head movement, who come inside, who are constantly switching the, 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 the position inside. And for, for someone bolt upright trying to fight, like that, yeah, that would be suicide to, to, to try and come inside or to walk in a straight line at them. But what Santa Cruz does is he sort of comes halfway to him in a straight line and then he starts shooting off at the sides and using a lot of... His, his feet stay there, but his upper body is side to side. Then suddenly he moves his feet again and... Uh, for a fighter trying to nail someone with, with punches, that's very confusing, very difficult. And uh, Mores wasn't able to do it for much of the fight, hence why Santa Cruz won. Um, right, so we're, we're, what are we going to see in this fight? Now, strangely, the, the bookmakers haven't put odds up yet. Um, last time they, they favoured Santa Cruz. This time I think they're going to favour Santa Cruz even heavier, even more heavily. Um, and... I think we're probably going to see Santa Cruz win more convincingly this time. Uh, I thought the, the, the scores um, last time were a little bit tight for, for what the fight was. Um, but I think this time you're, you're going to see Santa Cruz. For me, Mares can only do more of what he already did. Exactly the same. I think halfway through the fight last time, Santa Cruz seemed to uh, have worked out the blueprint of how to optimise his tactics, how to make the absolute most of it. And I think because of that, you're going to see him probably win uh, more easily this time than in, in his uh, previous fight with, with uh, Mahrez. I think Mahrez is also a little bit older, and at featherweight, the, the fighters don't mature so well. Uh, they mature very young, and uh, they peak very young. And I think Mahrez now... Especially he has a Santa Cruz using movement and boxing uh, skills, if you like. He's more likely to deteriorate quickly. Um, he's less likely to deteriorate quickly. Uh, Mares, who's reliant on fitness, on health, on speed, I think is m more likely to, to come apart more easily this time and not be able to maintain the pace that he would need to maintain in order to force this into his type of fight. I think he can for the first half of the fight, but once he's walked on to enough straight punches from uh, from Santa Cruz, then I think he'll start to come undone. And I, and I expect Santa Cruz to actually beat him more convincingly this time, maybe even the late stoppage. Um, I don't see an early stoppage. I think the first half of the fight will be very tight. I think they'll be literally neck and neck, and neck for, for periods of it because of the pressure that Mahrez will put on, on Santa Cruz. But Santa Cruz will use his reach, certainly, but Santa Cruz, again, I think is going to come inside because he also is normally a tall guy. You'd think, well, his tactic is going to be to move off. But I think he also is going to want to come forwards and push and drive Mares back and force Mares into a high-tempoed fight and force him to, to work up close. 
And um, anyway, guys, that's my my prediction. I will go for Santa Cruz on on points. Um, a repeat. And uh, please, guys, give us a subscribe. Thanks for watching the blog. See you then.